G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, when we're back in Alpha 20, back in our Clock Tower series, coming into day 25. We are starting a bit earlier than I normally would, because I have lots of things to do, to the point where, for the first time in my life, I've actually gotten myself organised, and written myself a checklist on my other monitor over here. So I need to get some steel, I need to make my auger, get some stones, make the crucible, so I can make some steel and find a switch if I happen to happen across one at some point today. But all that means is I need to get cracking very early. Uh, it might actually be worthwhile me, I don't need you actually. Uh, I'll keep the four. It might be worthwhile me taking the uh, hacker's candy, although I only need, nah, stuff it. I only need like 11 steel. So it shouldn't take too long if I just head out onto the town and start breaking some things about. There's a vendor just over here. Ooh. A cheeky loot bag just here as well. Could we have a gander in you? Nothing to speak of, but I beat you to the punch, old mate. You wanted the gubs? Too bloody bad. Bonds might level up as well. Jeez, it's all happening this morning. Excuse me, super titties. I'm just in the middle of something right now. The whole reason... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The whole reason I wanted to come out here was because there is that broken vendor just then. Can't break down the working ones. You'll both get electrified, nor would you want to break down the working ones. No, nope, we're okay. They're all dead. I've already done some damage to you. I just need a couple more. Wow, my T6 wrench is doing work. That gave me three. That gave me three steel. Not that many at all, but if I can find some more transformers around the place, that'll give me what I need. That's my new favorite way to get the steel. They smile while you do it, which just alleviates the guilt of tearing, up, tearing them apart limb from limb. There's a transformer just there and one down the end of the road as well. My super bright vehicle headlights are doing the trick and finding all the things I need. Oh, they need to go three up. I need you to piss off though. I'm not gonna ha have you coming over and breaking my little stilts over here. I'm a busy boy. Don't mess about with the technicians or else you'll get no power at all. Although given I'm breaking down the entire infrastructure, probably gonna happen for you anyway. Only need another couple. There's one more down the streets. We're off to a flyer. Sorry, smiley boy. I know you're all sorts of happy and cheerful, but I just need your guts right now. One more. That's another three. That gives me 11. How many did I actually need? No, it was the organ, not the handlebars. Organ. I needed 25, and I'm pretty sure I had 14 back home. So I think that's all that I need. I heard the fist clattering of a zombie out here somewhere, but they can just hang out in the darkness. That's not my problem right now. Okay, make the organ. Oh, sorry, get the steel is the first thing I'm on this. And I make the organ, that's the second thing. And then get some stones. So I need to consider where in my little compound I can dig myself a mine. I'm gonna keep it inside the walls. I think that's kind of smart. But just try not to dig underneath my tower. That would not be very smart. Yeah, good. So it was only 11 that I needed. Got the perfect amount. Thank you very much. I need an engine, bicycle handlebars, and motor tool parts. I've got the parts in here. Grab you. Engine should be in here. Grab you. And the bicycle handlebars. Just there it is. There we go. My long and arduous journey is coming to a close because I'm finally going to have the auger that I've been pining for for way too long. Like two weeks I've been pining for any sort of auger and we finally have what we needed. I can chuck you guys back away then and the parts go back into there. So when we're going to build or rather dig this mine. There is the morning chime. Jeez, I've done a lot this morning already and the sun's only just crested the hills. I think... If I just dig like straight down through that block there and then put some sort of hatch or something on top of it, it means I can chuck a um, uh, SMG auto turret up on the tower there looking down to protect me from the screamers. But also means I can still park my bike around here and not somehow end up with a bike in a cavern. So that's where I'm going to go down. May as well start the work now. It's going to take me a while to get into it. But once I'm through the concrete blocks, we'll be down into the squishy stuff. And that's where I want to be. So what did I need? I needed 1,200 small stones, which is a lot. A lot of lots. So we have 30 seconds left on you. That's okay. I'll just wait for you. So 1,200 stones. I can make the crucible. And that's going to allow me to make my own steel. So save me going out and breaking down the happy transformers every time I need a couple of parts. That's going to open up the SMG auto turrets and anything else I want to do as well. So a pretty critical component to all of my endeavors. I will grab... I'll grab coffees and some rock busters. 
We're also kind of thirsty, so I'll chuck some of you into me as well. And yeah, some ball bank. Why not? Do I actually have... Do I have the book that gives me... No, I got to search it. What, it's mining? Art of mining? The... No. Harvest 10% more ore and buzz from coffee. I don't have that book right now, so I can put the coffee back away. That's all right. Always worth a double check. Grab you. Grab some dinosaurs and get cracking. Here's the hole I dug earlier. I'm just going to get through the dirt and get down into this, um, the rock down below. No use wasting an auger on stuff that doesn't matter to me. That should be stone there. No. Please don't tell me it's part of the POI for this to have, like, dirt all the way down. Oh, no. I definitely should have found some stone by now. Huh. Nah, it's, it's all, it's all just regular dirt. That has somewhat changed my plans then. Okay, I'll just refill that with dirt then. Craft all of you. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess you'll find a better place to do a mine then. I could like dig this and then dig out laterally uh, to get out to the stony stuff, which might work. I don't think the zombies will try and tunnel through, especially if there's like a proper, like a, a ladder leading down. So, okay. Cancel you. I'll just scrap. No, I can't scrap you. Right, never mind then. I'll keep going down a little bit further and then got to go left. I don't think I'll find any ore or anything down here if it's like, if the footprint of the town is baked down to bedrock. So I've got to go that way. Okay, I'll go a little bit further down and then out. I don't know. This might be a catastrophic decision, but if I stay away from my building, that should be okay. Uh, who knows? Who knows? I won't be getting myself in trouble. That wouldn't be unlike me at all. Nah, I think this plan is uh, somewhat moot because I'm now digging underneath the road. You can tell because it looks like a bloody road. I'm digging through asphalt, but that's not actually asphalt. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm outside the walls. I'm well outside the walls. That, uh... That changes some things pretty considerably then. I'm going to have to fill all this back up because I can't have a cavity down here underneath integral parts of the architecture upstairs. So that sucks. Hmm. Right. I guess I have to go out of town to dig up my stone and have to make a, a quarry for myself outside the outskirts. That's unfortunate. Oh, I thought that was going to be a nice easy thing. Just dig a hole, dig a pit, get the stony boys I need. But apparently this entire town is built on loose soil. Didn't you learn anything from Point Royal? Anything happens, the ground shakes a little bit. The entire, the entire town's going in the lake over there. Just need that one more block and cancel the rest of the crafting. And you are going to go copy shape and just chuck you in there. All right, don't ask, don't tell. I'll upgrade that to be a proper block at some point soon. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're heading out into the boons then. Out into the sticky stuff, out into the trees to just dig a hole. We're just going to dig a hole. Nothing special, nothing fun. This does mean I'm going to have a bit of issue with like screamers and stuff because I can't protect against myself. I'll go all the way out. I'll go all the way out. I can't protect against myself with like turrets and stuff because I'm away from my clock tower. So I've got no power. That's where like Terry would come in handy. Terry that's hitting slapping turret would be a great help. I guess just out here. This looks as good as any, I suppose. Any... Ooh, there's a coal mine out to my right. I think it's a coal node. A bit further. Yeah, there it is. I do need the coal and the nitrate, actually, to make myself the gunpowder, so I may as well dig here. It's going to take a bit of doing, but no time like the present. This is actually the first time I've used an auger in Alpha 20 with the new uh, model and the new animation for it as well. And I am all about it. That stone, that's the coal there. Follow the node all the way down. Yeah, the new um, the new design of the new animation, I dig it. It looks cool. looks more like a tool and less like a... I don't even know how you describe the first iteration of it, but that's okay. I need, the, I need the stone. I need the stone. Take it all with you, but stay near the surface because when Screamer shows up, we're going to have to skedaddle pretty quickly. I'm going to try and get this down ahead of time so I'm not panicking and trying to build a ladder when I desperately need it later on. There we go. So I need to get up and out. I've already got that there for me. Yes. Nah. Easy. All right. Back down to the hole we go. Continue mining away. I haven't used a Rockbusters candy, Josh. You brought it with you for this exact reason and then completely forgot about it. There we go. Chuck one of them in. It lasts like 11 minutes, which is a bit excessive. I only need a few. I'll just 
Weirdo was aiming at Rock again. Nothing. I was a bit confused there for a second. Already out of pterodactyls. Come on. Keep on going. Keep on going. We're fine. I'm not sure how it works in Alpha 20, but I know in Alpha 19, like breaking down like dirt and stone and stuff wasn't that bad for increasing your heat level. It was when you broke down metal, when you broke down iron stuff, that was like wafting the scent of a blueberry pie across the wasteland to call in every scream that you could. Did I just hear something? I'm not sure. And all the screamers would smell the pie and waft over like they're in a freaking cartoon. No? Okay, I think we're okay. But yeah, if you're breaking down iron stuff, it might still be the same. That's going to call in screamers for days. But breaking down this stuff, we might get away with. Have a look at actually. Almost got all the stones that we need. I could stay and keep on going until my gas is gone. And I might actually, given that I'm using my Rockbusters candy. May as well take advantage of it while I've got it. If a screamer shows up, hopefully I've got the dexterity and the ammunition to deal with that issue when it arises. Oh, g'day there. How are you doing? That is some delicious nitrate. Nitrate hard to find and hard to harvest. I, I mean, I assume it's the same thing now. It looks like it's much better than it used to be. That's all my gas gone, though. So this is now a flat-out gunpowder mine, which is all very exciting. Check up the top. No murder myrtle showing up. Okay, we're good. So I can mark this on the map as a gunpowder mine. Go like that and like mm, that one. That looks like a mine. Gun powder. Nice. So finding uh, nitrate down there next to the coal, definitely a win. Coming back with all of the stones I need. A couple of silver, oh, one silver nuggy as well. Not much nitrate, but that's okay. At least I know where it is now. So now I'm going to start running into the problem where I'm going to be running short of uh, of gasoline, of dinosaur juice. I have to go and find some fossils and put it through a colander, wring it out for all its juicy goodness. I need that shit to power my life. I need a lot of it. Grab my pre-prepared gubs to make myself the crucible that I need. Okay, I guess get made in here. Crucible. Going to take four minutes. It's a bit of a while, but that's okay. Get you cracking along. Thank goodness for that. Oh, that's going to open up so many things for me. Nice. rest of you guys can all go away. Thank you very much. The Orgum, as much as I'd like to take you with me, it's probably better for me to roll my regular tools and to save the Orgum for mining. Um, I do have an extra spot inside my pickaxe then. I took the, the Bunker Buster mod, oh no, the Iron Breaker mod out of it. I'll chuck it back in. I'll chuck it back in. That's fine. Give me you, and I'll put you back into this one. I know I could take the, um, the, what was the other one called? Oh, the Bunker Buster mod. I know I could take the Bunker Buster mod and chuck that in there too, but I'd rather keep the durability up a little bit. You can go into the tools box, you can go into the sellables box, and you can go back into there. Nice. All right, we're cooking along nicely. While I'm thinking about it, actually, I'll take all my sellable stuff. I'll leave you crafting away. You've got a fair bit of time left over. You'll be done by the time I get back, but I don't have to stand here and watch you like your muffins in the oven trying not to burn my chocolate chips. But I'll jump on the bike and head back out to go see Trader Joel because I've got cash. That's not a problem, but I don't have that switch. So I'll head out. It is trading restock day. I'll head out and see if he's got one to sell me. Might only cost me like 50 bucks, but it's going to make all of the wiring back home so much more feasible. And then eventually down the road when I have maximum level metal barter, I'll buy myself like all the solar stuff. So I don't have to run all the fuel that I get. Won't run my generators. It'll just run my bike and my auger. That's just smart cricket. That's just how it should be done. Got to save your resources for where you need them most. Jolly boy, how are you? Not a long time, no see. I saw you only a matter of hours ago, but it's always good to come back. Oh, when you've got some sugar butts for me too. The rarest of treats. The fizziest of, of sweets to put on your tongue. That's what I'm after. I'll take you and I'll take you as well. I don't know why they're so bleeding rare now, but oh my god. I'm finding silver nuggets and diamonds more commonly than I'm finding bloody sugar butts candy. Give me you real quick. I'll change you over. Not really anticipating on buying anything right now, but I just want to have a squeeze. Do you have a switch? No, you don't, you bastard. What else do you have then? You got some bullet tips. And not much, if I'm being honest. You're really not packing a whole lot of stock. Got some candles. Wouldn't mind lighting up my house back home, but I can make them for myself. Not much else. Check your secret stash. A mod for DD. A mod for DD. We know how I feel about that. I just want to get everything in line so when DD shows up again, I have everything that she needs. Got gyro accessories too. No, thank you though. I'll mic her back for that another day. And no switch in here either. Okay. Fair enough. Let me have a little gander, though. Do I have... Got a skill point to spend. 
Oh, yeah, I've got, to, I've got to start saving up to get that maximal Derek adventure. That's going to give me so much more better stuff. Double dipping loot is so good. If he's got nothing that I need, I may as well head back home and get the crucible and just start the steel crafting. Because then I want to go. It's still very early. I'm being very productive lately. Uh, it's still very early, so I want to head out to the west and do that quest. That tier 4 fetch and clear for Trady Gem. Keep getting my experience rolling over and my rewards. And who knows what I might find in a high level POI as well. Plus, you know, I can check in on Jen on the way through and see if she's got a switch for me. It is one thing, I've talked about this before, but I don't know where I spoke about this. I think it might have been on a stream at some point. But I really wish there was a um uh, a wallet mod you could put into your armor. You only have one, like a bandolier, it won't stack. And it will hold a full stack of $20,000 redos. If you're holding extra, you've got to use your pockets of inventory space. But having a way to take up an armor slot mod and be able to carry around um, enough money for incidental purchases, maybe even like 5,000 or something, it doesn't have to be the whole 20 grand. But just to have some money on you more easily would be wonderful. That's the dream. But <laughs> a boy can dream doesn't mean it's going to pay off. How are you doing? Hey, you're done. Nice. I'll grab those wood blocks that I'm using for fuel. That's my other one. I need to go into this one. Crucible. There you go. And have like... Maybe not a full hour. Jeez, that went up very quickly. Let's go... Yeah, let's go about 40 minutes, I suppose. 40 minutes of fuel. It's going to take 15 to make the steel uneven. I want to burn through all of this get all that lodged away. Uh, craft you. Lovely double. That's going to use most of my iron... So maybe, actually, I'll go like this. Maybe I'll smelt all the iron in there instead and deal with the rest later on. There's a Muppet downstairs. Give me a tick. I'll be all right with you. I've got time charges. Although I think for this, for a bigger raid, I'll take... Uh, do I take the lockpicks or the time charges? Because the lockpicks with the lockpicking candy, I could pick open multiple things at once. I'd have to rely on one mechanic. Mm, that's probably the right way to go. Give me you. Give me... Where are you? Give me one of you. Lovely dovely. All right, I'll head downstairs and kill the map who's at my door. This is why I need that siren. And maybe even like a turret or something to kill the clowns and get here when I'm not really in the mood for murder. That was a wrench. I saw the flames in my head. I was like, no, nah, it's fine. It's my club. But no, my wrench has chlamydia, not my boomstick. Oh, sorry about that, buddy boy. I just took a wrench to the face. Tried to undo your nose. There's a derpo coming in as well. Oh, that's like all the way up north, out towards the other trader gen. Now, I mean, I... Oh, I might even just go and get that straight away, actually. I did want to go out to the west and go see the other gen, but if I can knock off both of them at one go, then why wouldn't I? Quickly sit you down, jump on the hog, and head on out. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't leave anything back home that I think I'm going to need. I've got ammo. Not much of it, but do have ammo. Oh, I don't have any loot and candy, though. Now, nah, okay. I'll go and grab this. I'll go and see Jen. And then hopefully buy that switch and leave, and leave my money home then if I do find what I need. Go home, grab some ammo, grab the loot and candy as well, and then skedaddle. We're wasting time now. We did such a good job this morning of being right on the numbers. But now, we're just faffing about. Made it to the drop before it even hit the deck. Loot and gogs on, and uh, get it before it touches the ground. Fight, mmm. A baked spud. Put it in your face. 500 cobblestone blocks. I mean, it's not bad, especially for building the wall around my compound, like where I want the zombies to drop. That's not a terrible thing to have. Saves me. Well, cobblestone is actually one of the materials that I'm lacking on. And it skips the wood level as well. So then all I need is just concrete to upgrade that uh, to a nice concrete wall. Okay. Okay. I'm here for it. Sounds like a good plan to me. Jenny girl's just over here, so I'll go and have a chat to her too. Oh, man. What a lot of, a lot of adventuring this morning. We're burning lots of fumes. Here we go, Jen. Come through for me like I know you can. You've done it before. I hope you do it again. You are now selling a crucible. Look at that. $11,000 reduce. Even with all of the perks and bonuses I have, that would still be like $7,000. So that's pretty bloody expensive. I'm happy that I found a way to make it for myself rather than spending all of my money on it. Speaking of spending all my money, I didn't actually bring my Magnum. That's fine. I'll still buy you. Mm, do I buy you now or come back another time? You are a grand. I do have things to sell. And I've got all the perks that I can chuck into stuff as well. I don't have a Gravedigger mod yet, actually. But if I'm coming back, I'll buy that later. 
This is more of just like an investi uh, like uh, investigation, coming up to see what's available for later on. You've got another DD headlight mod. Interesting. A couple of books, some brass, and reload rifles faster. Trigger plates. I mean, that would work for what I... No, it won't actually, because I need the switch to turn off that system, not just activate the sirens. SMG auto touch. You don't have a switch either? Dang. All right, why is this thing so hard to find? But at least I know you've got good stuff. I'll be back that here to buy some stuff tomorrow, thing. I think. Back home again for a quick little stop off. It is now almost 2 p.m. And if this POI is going to be, like, this uh, mission is going to be as big and uh, worrisome as I think it's going to be, that might turn out to be a bit of an issue. Nice and quick, though. Nice and quick. I'm not really hungry nor thirsty, but I'll chuck in a chili dog just because I can. Right, I need... Just one loon and candy it will do me. You can go back away. Uh, that's sellables, that's materials. You can go into them. I'll take the money with me just because there is a Jenna out there and she might have the switch that I'm after. Weapons and ammo. I'll take you. And an extra stack of shotguns as well because you never know when you might need it. I'd rather be over prepared and over ammunified. That's not a word at all. Have too much ammunition, whichever the uh, uh, adjective of that would be. I don't know. I need to stop making up gibberish words. Either way, I'm immunified and I'm heading out to go and do this quest. Jenny girl, I'm coming to see you again. This feels weird rolling off the tongue. Good day, Jenny girl. Good to see you again. For Ooh, a den for today. You've got a sugar butts for me. That's three I found today. Must be my lucky day. I mean, any day's a lucky day when I'm talking to you, Jen. Rough. Oh, and then you just you didn't insult me anyway. Good, I show up all smiles and happy. You just stomp all over me feelings. Ah, uh, I need a switch. Hey, Jenny girl. I'll buy three because I never bloody find the things anymore, but always good to know you have what I'm after. What else have you got for me? What else do you have on offer for my shopping adventure tomorrow? Got loot and gogs that are the same as what I have now. Wasn't even where my XP goal was to buy the switches. That's how excited I was. Shotgun parts, no, don't need them. A lot of random stuff, some acid as well, but nothing that I'm really desperate for. I've got what I'm desperate for. I think we're pretty good. Yeah, nah, okay, I'll check your secret stash though. You've got another DD headlight mod. That's three of them, three for three traders are carrying that. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe I'll find DD soon. You're starting to show me mods for and getting me all excited. Magnum books, looting books. Fireman books. Hmm. Nah. No, no, no. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, you just brightened my day. Bright mine too, Bright Jenny. Even though I walked in, you punched me in the face with a whole bunch of very harsh words. You can hold on to. No, not that actually. Just these ones. The stuff I'm not going to need when I'm raiding. But the lockpicks can go in there too. I need that when I'm using the jailbreakers, Candy. Nice. All right. Ready to go. It's three o'clock. Time to spare. Time to murder. Those of you who are about to point out as well that I walk around and sling harsh language at all the zombies I come across, then the moment Jen gives me a taste of my own medicine, I whine about it. I, I can give, but I can't take. This shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. That's like basically my catchphrase. This is the joint. Oh, old mate's got something to say about it too. Go away, please. Oh, you're a feral actually, aren't you? You, oh God, that's a feral and that's a cop. I haven't even gone inside the POI yet. You're already sending out the armada to come and have a word with me about it. All right. Well, we're going to select her, apparently. I didn't choose to select this place, but Jenny Girl did. She chose the restaurant, and who am I to say no? Let's give you a tickle. All right. Well, I know now there's going to be some, um, some, uh, some zombies three feet into the place, so may as well just charge in and wake them all up. I was going to say, if you guys came out of here a second ago, I would have thought it'd be closer to the entrance, but I guess not. There you are. Oh. Oh. Almost got the double, but gave you a ripe old nudging before you even coughed up your bab. Love it. Shotgun's doing work. Oh, and I love to watch it work too. It's just a good time. Well, <laughs> just purely just for me, not really for you. I'm going to leave things of higher value like that loot drop there until I have the loot and candy running for What's my loot and stage in here, actually? 75. So not great, but with the loot and candy going, uh, that might actually work out to be okay in the long run. It might get up a little bit once I pop some pills. 
<laughs> it wouldn't be the first time that happened for me either. <laughs> anyway, rock on through, scrap all the iron stuff, don't need bones, do need murky water, lead, and I'll take the glass jars, I suppose. Take all the stuff that might be somewhat valuable later. Leave nothing important behind. I can see the skimpy skirt of what I assume is gonna be stripper titty. She's got stripper heels on, so I assume it's gonna be her through the window, but can't really do much about it. I'll be in there in a jiffy though. Just let me sort out the rest of this. Like your twin in the next room. I don't know what kind of, um, what kind of meals they were serving here, but I feel like if you got, <laughs> I feel like if that's what's on the menu, why well, am I kidding? I'd be eating here every day of the week if I could. It's like a zombie version of Hooters. I was gonna say, there's gotta be more, gotta be more. That was a feral. That was a doubler. Oh, I took the arm off her too. Look at this though. How could you not love the pumpy when it does this much damage? Oh, it's just so good. I feel like maybe I have been here before. Did I raid this place in Horde every night? I may have. Like, it, there's some, there are some bells going off in the back of my head. There's the satchel of crap. You're opening doors with shotguns. That's how much I bloody love it. But yeah, it's starting to feel a little bit familiar. So maybe. Still need to clear the rest of the zombies though. <laughs> Graceful as always, Loza. Always coming in with style. Always making me giggle too. What are you doing? I get that you needed to have a bath. Like, cause look at you. You definitely needed to get some suds on you. Not the best way to do it though. <laughs> and after all that hard work, all you're gonna get as a reward is my chips inside your salsa. Turn the ladder up to the roof and we one up guarding it. Oh, look at that. So you take your time, line it up, and score some headshots. And there won't be much of the head left over once you're done with it. Up we go. Make sure shotting is reloaded. Need every round I can. Did I... I just remembered. Did I buy the book that was going to give me the shotgun tube mag uh, mod that I can make for myself? I'm not sure if I actually bought that or not. Or maybe I just planned on doing it and never actually followed through. That sounds like something I would do. Speaking of something I would do, sit down and copy boing. What was it? It's the tube. No, I did read the book. Good job, past me. Thank you for actually making the right decision when I needed you to. I need to get one of those on the go. Replace the hunter mod with I completely forgot about it. It wasn't on my checklist. I made a list of things to do today and that wasn't on there. Anything else around? Check out some cheeky extra loot. Not much though. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I see you, though. Don't walk all the way out, because you will fall to your death. Nah, nothing there. Is that a different POI? I jumped up on the wall here. Yeah, it is, too. Look, there's no connection here. Jumped up on the wall, and the zombies on the roof next door spawned in, so... May as well kill you guys and see if I can come across and nab some of your ammo. It's, it's just free real estate. It's free loot estates. Uh, give me, I don't need a ladder for this. I need a rampy boy. Go like that. We'll start here. I don't want to go too far because I'll fail my quest, but I'm curious now. Hop! Over the top. Oh, it's yellow. Okay, you know what? No, I'll come back to that. They're dead now. They're not going anywhere. The loot will stay. I can come back and grab that another time. I don't want to fail this quest though because it's a laugh. There you go. Thank you for joining me up on the roof though. I hope you enjoyed the view as much as I did. Oh, man. And I just want to go and get that loot. That's all I can think about. There's a safe just there. And I know that that uh, blue loot bag that I wanted at the entryway isn't too far out that way. So if I just open up this door instead. Uh, yep, been here before. And then open this one too. Power stroke on the wood does the most damage. Then open that one. Nice. Okay, so when I come through here later, I can grab the loot that was... Then come through here, open up that safe and grab that as well. And like a little shortcut to the end. Yeah, sick. I do remember this place. I'll grab that key. Grab the key. There you go. It should open that door there. Yes, it has. But I still need to murder all of the trollops who are waiting for me down here. Given the population of stripper titties that has been in this restaurant so far, I imagine there's going to be quite a couple of them. Yeah, there you go. Wake them all up. Bring them out to the door over here. They come up the stairs of death here. They're going to have a real bad time about it. Set a mass on you. I am wearing my XP gogs. Good form by me. Shoot through the railings. Up, oh, up. Oh. Try hitting the zombie, Josh. It might work a little bit better for you. There you go. Decap him. Who needs sights anyway? Just hold it on your hip and pull the bloody trigger. She died in one. Oh, ScoMo. ScoMo the second. 
Okay, all right, let's get the little hackers. Let's get the little hackers. Come on, come this way. AK will save. AK always saves. Job done. Just by myself a puddle of zombies at the bottom of the stairs. You could like jump into that like a zombified ball pit and have a wonderful time. Okay, so here's all the loot that I needed. I need to get my lockpicking candy. Didn't actually grab a lot of stuff on the way through either. Need a lockpicking candy to get through that. Am I missing anything? Nope, nothing in them. All right, nice. I'll open all these things. Go out and drop the shit off in the bike that I don't need. Grab the candies I need and come back for all of this goodness. Not sure we'll get much out of it, but it's worth a shot. Here you go. Take all of that, please. I'll take my lockpicks and both the candies. Don't need the other stuff. That's all good. Wear the loot and specs before you forget about that too, Josh. So... So I guess I go through and open the lockpicks, uh, open the safes first, because I do have the longest amount of time on the lockpicking candy more than anything else. It was back this way, wasn't it? Back through here, back through there. There's the first one. So quickly open you. I can grab that, um, in fact, I can grab this safe and the loot bag last, because it's right near the entryway. Go and open up all the good loot, pop the loot and candy in there and grab that first, because the exit out of there is nice and quick. Yeah, okay, that'll work for me nicely. Jump into you, thank you very much. Let's go get the rest of the stuff as well. I'm um, fingers crossed this will be a good day. I've got high hopes and hopefully we'll get disappointed. Nice, there we go. You're picked and open and ready. Easy as, quickly slurp on down to my candy as well. And we're good to crack on. Gun store box, what have you got? Handgun parts, which actually I do need to make myself the SMG auto turret, so not too shabby. You're worth 200 bucks, 600 bucks there. Some acid, some ammo, baton parts that I can sell. Not great loot out of that, but can make some money off it, I suppose. Bullet tips and shetty parts. Hmm, okay. I mean, nothing in here is really rocking my jocks. Although, with the loot and candy going, my loot stage is 87. So, better than it was, but nothing too amazing. Okay, I need to, um... Uh, stymie my hopes and dreams a little bit. I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself and hoping for everything when I'm still in the pine forest biome. So, not going to give me everything that a growing survivor could want. My stamina's lacking a little bit as well. Turns out running around with basically nothing in your pockets weighs you down something shocking. Straight on in though. There was that bag. There it is. Hasn't despawned yet. Thank you very much. Okay. Has my pants and not much else. That's okay. That's all right. Keep your hopes up. One more safe to go. Don't get down to the dumps just yet. What have you got for me? Oh, okay. 300 bucks and some muffled connectors. That's not too bad, actually. I'll accept that. I'll chuck all that stuff away. And you know what? If I'll drink you because you're taking up space, I'll do, I shall eat you and you as well. Free up some more room in there for these things. That one too. While I'm here, you can just get scrapped, actually. I'm going to go do something a little bit silly. There is, I'll just take that with me actually, that's fine. There is just next to me, a sewer. Now, I've still got a loot and candy rocking and rolling, so might as well go down and have a gander down there and see what we can find. There might be more loot for me, or there might be death for me, but either way, I'm coming down, coming to find what I need. Get out of my way, show me where your gubbins are. It's been a little while since I was in the sewers. Oh, that sounded very close to me, and it was too. That's all right. Nothing the shoddy boy can't handle. Shoddy boy can handle anything you bloody want of it. Grab that. My frame rate is dying, which means there might be a wandering horde outside, but given I've got an hour to get through here. Another lockpick, we might be okay. It's just like, like lockpicks and sugar butts candy are just impossible to find these days. Retracting stock mod. Mm, I could put you in there, but I kind of like the loadout on that AK at the moment, but always good to have extra weaponry mods anyway. G'day, bud. Bulletproof railing striking again, as they often do. Look at that, though. We're all going to make a beeline to come up the way I want them to. We're going to get doublers and triplers for days without even really blinking. And the ones who stay in the water, they may be wet, but they're also dead. Check the working stiffs. An anvil and some more steel sledgy parts. Can sell the sledgy and put the anvil to use somewhere. Anti-rad mod. Ooh, a blood bag. Worthless, but I'll take the roids. And not much there either. Okay, that's fine. That's the way out over that way. Make sure we clean out the rest of the sewers. They may be down in piles of shit already, but even though they're matching up to their personality nicely, need to make sure I'm cleansing the sewers. The only thing down here that I want are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Where are they all? Get out of here. 
Here we go. Here's the ladder up and out. I love the new sewers in this game. The new additions they've brought in, I talked this the other day, but like the subterranean stuff that's in Seven Days to Die now is fan bleeding tastic. I'll take you, search the last couple of things while I've got my loot and candy going. Haven't searched you guys yet. I do see some comments of people saying like, why don't I search these things? I almost always do, but they almost always give me pieces of paper. And I just don't need to, like, it gets cut out of the episode. It doesn't need to get shown every time I find another soggy page of someone's diary. Although that would be more interesting. Then I'd read it on camera. We could all laugh at their expense. Instead of this, my expense for a change. Could have gone and handed in the quest before nighttime fell, but that's okay. I'll go back to the northern gen to do that anyway. So I can do that tomorrow on my shopping trip. Nice. Let's get home. Almost home. There should be a little alleyway. There it is, just then. Get up and over the rubble. Oh, yep, that almost worked. Managed to get through there reasonably well without losing too much speed. Oh, all right, got some visitors waiting for me. Got a welcoming party for when I get back home again. Well, say good day to my club for me because that's spiky and all sorts of excited to see you. I need to park my bike. Can you guys just give me a second though? You know, let me get out, let me dust off my boots and park up my bike properly before you little start careening into my lounge room. Haven't even boiled the bloody kettle yet. Calm your farm. Chucking all the stuff away that I can. Scrap that one. Sellables go in. You guys are sellable too. There is someone downstairs having a moan, but I'll be down there in a jiffy to sort you out. Then you can moan in a whole different kind of way, which now that I sound that loud, has a very different connotation of what it sounded like in my head. So I'm just going to push on and pretend I didn't say that. Uh, mods go into that one. You kind of sound like you're inside. And I really hope you're not. Chuck that away too. Uh, my other forge has an anvil. Has an anvil. I guess I'll just scrap the anvil for the iron then. No, nah, no, nope. yep, that one, that one. Can't scrap anvils anymore? All right, guess you're getting sold then. Never bloody worry about it. Switches, good stuff, good. So now I've got everything away. Give me, I just need one of the switches. Give me the wire tool. I need to wire up my little alarm system here. At some point, I would like to have... I might even, like, if I happen to come across, like, a shotgun turret or something, I suppose I'll use that here. Plant down a shotgun turret, like, up there, so that when I'm upstairs and I can't be arsed coming down to kill the zombies who are beating on my wall, I can just flip the shotgun turret on and it'll take care of business for me. That said, though, shotgun turrets are basically worthless for every other use other than that. They fire too slow and don't do enough damage. So you... Yeah, I reckon that's about the right spot. We'll chuck you there. Although... Hmm. How about if I pick you back up again? Because it's in my land cane block, I can just pick it back up without too much of a drama. I'll grab you. I'm also going to need my wiring tool. But if I chuck you up on that side, or even in here, maybe in here, on there. Because I'm trying to think, like, if I run the wires to that, it'll hide the wire through the wall all the way to the top, which would be lovely, lovely. Where do I want the switch to be, though? That is the million-dollar question. If I have it out here, it might get destroyed by a cop. Then I suppose it just turns off the siren. But apparently switches are hard to find. So I guess we'll go there. And then from you, battery bank, to that one. Ah, see, now you've got all the wire out and about. Okay, I change my mind. I'll move you down. We've got to get this right. It's doing that super fun thing where this stupid post is taking up the entire block. I'll get rid of you, and I'll chuck you all the way down on the ground like that. That should be fine. We'll go to them. So you can't really see much of the cable. That's all good. And then from them, all the way up to the top, to you. Although I think, actually, I don't think I need you anymore. Because I have that switch, it's going to move. I think I only had that there to move the wire across. So I can get rid of you. I can go from the switch all the way up directly to the camera, and that should hide the wire. Camera's on this side. Cable's black. Yep, we're good. Up to that one. Oh, God! I didn't even know I could do that! I didn't even know I could do that! Kind of makes sense, though. Turns out teabag and a lit forge is a bad idea. You melt off all of the hairs that keep your nutsack fuzzy. Oh, boy. I don't even need molotovs to set myself on fire, apparently. Okay, so, now that we've done that, made a right pelican of ourselves, turn you on, you're now on, turn you on, and that should mean, I think I still have that camera set to see me, yes it does, 
Wait till you turn off. Making a right old Muppet up there. There we go. Up we go. You go on. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we're about ready to uh, set that to see zombies instead. It won't kill them, but it will let me kill them. Oh, there we go. It, it's already working. Oh, that turns on the fences as well. I might need another switch. Now I'm thinking about it. Give me the other switch. I knew I bought more for a reason. See what I mean? If I had that running all hall, that'd be really annoying. So I can turn that off so it stops making noise. Quickly murder you. And I should probably run another switch for the electric fences. I'll chuck it on that side. So it's all nice and symmetrical. I'll put some signs above it as well to tell me which one is which. So I need to go from you to that one. It does put like the wire out where I don't want it to be, but I think that might just have to be how it is. And that one needs to go from there to that one. Nice. Okay, so now I have a way to turn off the electric fences too. That's on, that's off. All I need now is some signs. First sign's almost done. Boom, give me that one. And you can go just there. So you're going to be, what are you? You are Siren. Okay, yep. In fact, I don't like that it's smaller letters. So we'll go all capitals. There we go. Siren. And the other one goes there. And that's going to be the electric fences. Mm, electric. Oh my goodness. Thumbs and fingers. What are you doing? Electric fences. There we go. Nice. So now I know which one is which. I can turn them both on. I can turn them both off. Easy as you like. Although for right now, when not a lot's going on, it's only using two watts. Because it's all turned off with the uh, with the switches. It's only using two watts to run. If I turn that on, though, it's using seven watts. But that should, should still last a little while. Here comes a up. Camera see him, please. There you go. That alerts me. Then I can kill him. Happy as. Bloody happy as. Before I wrap this up, though, what I need to do, put you back to there and get my regular stuff back again, just like that. Thank you. You can both go into there and you can go into there. I need to grab myself the iron, the glue, mechanical parts, and probably duct tape. I probably need more duct tape than that, though, to make myself the tube mod. Where are you? Tube mod. Springs, not duct tape. Okay, that's fine. I've got those two. Grab that and chuck it into this one. Tube mod, make my shotgun even better again. Which just means I have to take you out and chuck it into something else later on. Easy peasy. What a good day. I mean, admittedly, I've been all over the shop struggling to get my words out, but that, what's new about that? But uh, like, as a day, as a productive day, we've kicked some snags today and I'm loving it. Before I forget, I'll grab some repair kits and quickly repair both of you because you've done a lot of work today and I appreciate your service. You're still cooking away? Wait. You're cooking nothing. All right, fair enough then. Can make another... Ooh, another 87 steel out of you, though. Don't know why you went into that. Nope, that's the wrong one. Give me that. There we go. You need 12 minutes of fuel, so there you go. Nice, Gary. Nice. That's a lot of steel to use now. I had none. Now I have plenty. Shit. Yeah, so tomorrow... I need to go and see the traders and just sell all of this stuff, take what I need, buy what I need. I know that the traders have a lot of stuff that I'm after and all of the helmet light, uh, the uh, DD robotic headlamp mods in the world as well. I'll buy that for when I do get DD later on. Sell all of this and make some bank and then maybe even do another quest. We're pushing on the quests for Trader Gen pretty substantially and the sooner i can get my level up and get uh, my next level of daring adventurer the better off i'm gonna be but i'm gonna have to do that come back make that money and appease my girl jen in the next episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons on patreon who made this episode possible if you liked it make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.